Sorry, I hit the clips hanging above my table. Hi. So today's a little bit of a different um, video. Um, I know uh, Sigrid and a couple of other people are doing doodle videos. I'm not right now a huge doodler, but I used to do... I'm, when I started getting back into art and painting, that was all I did was doodles. Um, I really wasn't into the Zentangle thing. I would just doodle at random, and then sometimes I would watercolor them. Um... I always wanted to try Zentangling, and somewhere in here I have a Zentangle kit. Ooh, I think I see it. I, I did! I just found it! I was going to tell you I couldn't find it, I didn't know where it was, and I lost it after the move, but I, I was that why I was going to make myself a liar. Um, as you can see, it has never been used. It's still in the box. So while I'm laid up, this is something that... I am going to finally do and use. I'm going to add it to my doodle bag. Speaking of which, um, I just did a quick um, video update for my channel and what's going on with me, kind of a vlog update. And one of the things to talk about was these Artist Tile Strathmore pads I found at the Michaels where I work. <coughs> Excuse me. And I found I got a couple of them. This is the black um, Strathmore coal black, and it is 60 pound paper. And this is a doodle I did the other day. If you are uh, Facebook friends with me, you already saw that. If you're not Facebook friends with me and you'd like to be, search for my name and um, put in a friend request. I pretty much friend everybody, mostly. Um, no, I do. And um, this is a purse organizer bag I got from Amazon. And I have a few of them. And this one I set up for just drawing stuff. Um, I have other markers that I do art journaling and things with and some that are kind of crossover, but I wanted, and I have duplicates of a few things, and I wanted to have a bag that was just doodling that I could take to the sofa, um, take with me to the doctors or whatever, because I am going to be laid up and probably not going to be able to be in the studio and paint or anything for at least a week, um, maybe a little longer, but that's going to make me crazy not being able to do art, so I'm, I set this bag up so I could do that. I have another one you've probably seen before if you're on my channel, and that's this one, which is really, really full. This is the one that I have all of my family recipe journal stuff in, where we're working on putting all the family photos and um, old family recipes together in a journal. There's a couple videos on that on my channel, if you search for them. Uh, Bronzini Lucarati Family Cookbook. And I like this little bag so much. It's so handy um, that, um, oh, there's that pen. I need to find more of these Uniball Deluxe Micro. Um, anyway, sorry, distraction. Uh, squirrel, um, that I liked it so much that I ordered a couple more of them. And um, I have them under my desk. And the other day I was like, oh, why don't I turn one of those into a doodle bag? And that would be cool. So I took out a bunch of my duplicate doodle pens, a few pencils, and some gel pens, some markers, and um, yeah. And so today, I thought that we would do a black and white doodle. So um, I have all of these white pens. I have a lot of black pens, but finding a good white pen is hard. There's not that many of them. I mean, I have these I really like. There's three different kinds of white pen. Um, Uniball Signo, a Pilot Choose, and this is a Signo Broad, and this is a sig different Signo. This is a Signo Angelic, I think. Yeah, Angelic. And then I have two Montana paint pens in two different sizes, the like basically the fine and the medium. And then I have two Posca pens, same thing, fine and medium. Um, Sharpie paint pens, again, fine and medium, right, in white. This is a um, Bic Whiteout pen. And then I found this today, which is a Bic Magic Marker. It's a window marker. It's white. And it's like my really big, giant Montana marker. It has the same kind of tip. And um, only it's only $6. And I have trouble getting the lid back on with my left hand. I can't do that. It hurts. So we're going to do a white on black doodle. And 
um, I'm pretty organic about how I work. Um, so I have no planned. I don't usually sketch things out. I do occasionally, but not normally. And if I make a mistake, it's just going to end up being part of the doodle, and we just go with that. So I'm going to get um, ready and bring my chair over, and I will okay. be back. Okay, I kind of zoomed in on the camera so that you could see what I was doing. So I'm going to try not hard not to move the paper. Um, and I usually start with either this Uniball Signo Broad or my acrylic Montana marker. And this is... I don't know what size this is like the medium. I don't know what size that means. This is the fine shock white. Okay, sorry, that was my family again. We are starting to organize my grandmother's belongings. She passed away um, not long ago. If you watch um, my YouTube channel and my Facebook page, you know that. Anyway, um, it's like a feeding frenzy. I don't know. It's a part of death I'm not crazy about. Uh, anyway, on a happier note, we're going to doodle. And I am going to probably... Um, I, don't, I don't know. I may talk through it. I may not. We'll see. Um... I might just fast forward through it and then you guys can let me know if you want to see more of this and um, I will be back in a minute.
Okay, there's my doodle. Uh, let's see, can you see it on camera? Oh yeah, well, mostly. Let me move it up a little bit. So there's my doodle. White ink on black paper. I'm really enjoying doing that. Um, I am going to take a picture of this one and post it. I think that I'll post this with my Happy Monday Facebook message um, and Google Plus message. You'll be able to download this um, as many times as you want to, save it to your hard drive, reprint it, use it in your collage work, whatever you want to do with it is totally okay with me and I am going to put that in the message. Um, I'm a little rusty with the doodling and my hands get a little crampy. I, you know, I am 50, I have arthritis, so you know. But anyway, remember to f stop and flex. And, um, you know, ha have some fun doing your own doodles. You don't need to be, you know, Rembrandt. They're just doodles. So, um, get some pens. Cheap ones work. Sharpies work great. I have a bunch of Sharpies in my bag. And, um some paper and start doodling. And I'd love to see your doodles, so if you send me your pictures, I'd love to see them. All right, I'll see you later. Don't forget to do something nice for yourself today. You deserve it. Bye.